In this snip, we're going to talk about string concatenation. What that is is really just combining two strings together. So for our purposes, we're going to have a string one and string two, and we'll set those variables as a tech and snips, respectively. So let me go ahead and do that. And uh, the first and probably easiest way to uh, accomplish string concatenation is to just simply use the plus operator. Uh, PowerShell is a smart language in that it'll find out that those two are strings and just smush them. So once we hit that, you can see, of course, that we get the tech snips result. The second option is to uh, use variable expansion. Um, and really that is to, uh, within quotes, put your variables. And this is really useful um, in your commands that you run later on with PowerShell um, to be able to add in uh, your variables or uh, maybe results from a query. But here you can see, um, just for us, we're going to do string one, string two, in quotes. And once we run that, we also get text snips. Um, and the key thing to note, we do need to use uh, the full double quotes on that. If we use single quotes or apostrophes, that will give us our string literals. Um, so we would get dollar sign string one, dollar sign string two, uh, as you can see in that example right there. The last option for concatenating PowerShell strings is to use string formatting. Um, in this, we'll actually uh, use some curly braces and positional parameters there. As you can see, we have the uh, apostrophe curly brace zero, and then we also have one surrounded by curly braces. And by using the dash F PowerShell uh, format operator, we can then specify what we want to go into those formatted parameters. So in our case, we want string one to be placed in the first parameter, string two to be placed in the second parameter. Once we run this, again, we'll find we get text snips. Thanks for watching.